I'm Lizzie Bologna. And I'm Kimmy Trisco. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Spring Note today. Welcome to Springdale Today. Welcome back to another Spring Note Today where we bring you news from all over the Spring Note District. Well, as many of you guys know, AP classes are really important for high school students. They are worth so much and can even get you ahead in college. The AP courses and the exams are offered all over the world and are taken by millions of people and every year in May. And today we celebrate the students who've paved their way to achieve excellence. Spring Note Today turns their attention to Don Tyson School Innovation and a group of their students who are perfectly fit for this test. It's actually a really big deal for me because um, migrating here in America I didn't know advanced placement existed so after one year I took it. Um, I didn't know I was taking one of the hardest ones for fun. I worked really hard for it and I feel very relieved that I'm getting uh, recognized for it. I guess I didn't, everyone was aiming for the five, it's kind of happened. My goal is always just go as strive for the best and see if it happens. So I tried really hard on the exam. It felt really good to actually get the five. You know, I wasn't really expecting it. Uh, only 16% of students who take AP exams score a five. So when you think about that nationwide and that small number, um, you know, how can we not celebrate them because of this accomplishment? Uh, so I did the calculus test and you know, there's different equations stuff that you have to do. There's some that I wasn't quite as good at as others. But work hard and study and don't get too stressed about it, but still work hard on it. Well, it was kind of stressful because it took a really long time um, and there were all of these different parts, but um, at the end of the day I felt okay because like it's just a test. Can you believe that only 16% of the students who took the AP exam scored a 5? Their hard work really did pay off, so congratulations to those who passed the AP exam and good luck to the ones that are taking it this year. Staying on in the, staying in the topic of excellence, in the Springdale School District is a great example of it. Yet in the past decade, head injuries have been a big issue in the sports, especially in football, due to all the tackling and head collisions. The definition of a concussion is a brain injury caused by a blow to the head, or it could also be a violent shaking of the head and body. Here's Harbor News for more information about concussions. With over 3.8 million athletes a year and 5 to 10% of all athletes suffering from this injury, we honor them today on September 17th. Many people suffer from this injury all around the world, especially here at Harbor High School. You might be asking what this injury is. It's called mild traumatic brain injury. <laughs> Um, for football players and athletes, I guess in general more specifically, um, it is serious because they can develop something called second impact syndrome if the concussion goes undiagnosed, where you receive a blow to your head after um, an initial blow, and it can cause, uh, a lot of times it's fatal or can cause brain damage for your life. When it comes to concussions, you should always use the three R's. Recognize, report, and recover. These steps are vital for the safety of all athletes who have been afflicted by this injury. I don't know. that. I mean, you know, it's just one of those deals. Everybody's got the radar out on and uh, really guarded against it. I mean, it's been going on a long time. And, uh, you know, but safety of the players is what matters. It's what we learn from. And, you know, I'd rather, like a Braxton and all them, be safe for life than taking a chance out here on the football field. One of the ways to prevent this injury is newly FDA-approved Q-Collar. The Q collar uses jugular vein compression to slightly increase blood volume in the head, reducing injuries to the brain. My personal thoughts are education. It's super important to educate our athletes about 
the seriousness, seriousness of a concussion and the long-term effects of it if they don't report it to us. Concussions have risen 200% in the last decade alone with kids 14 to 19. And 39% of those kids, if left untreated, could suffer severe brain damage. With the help of Lauren Ward and Skylar Sexton with our athletic trainers here at Harbor High School, we hope to prevent this catastrophic injury. For WCSN, I'm Connor Jenkins. I know people got head injuries in football, but I never expected the number to be that large. Yet here in our district, we have the best staff to help out in many ways. Some help out with injuries, some help out with disabilities, and some help out with normal school situations. Yes, we truly have the best staff here in our district, and some choose to do way more for the people that surround them. And one of our district team members did just that. Well, when Ladina Eads called me the other day, just out of the blue, I was very surprised, wondering why I was getting a call from Springdale Schools. And when she told me what was happening, I was so excited, I about burst. And I started calling all my friends and family and telling them what a big secret I had. And, and they're all so proud of her, and so are we. She works hard, she loves her kids like none other. She puts in a lot of time after hours. Um, taking care of things that they need and I think that she really she's deserving. Um, wow! <laughs> the fact that people in Arkansas recognize and know what I do and are appreciative of it, appreciative of it is just incredible to me. It takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of teamwork. Um, I try really hard to collaborate with all the team members involved and make sure my kids have the accessible materials that they need and just anything that they need to get prepared and sometimes that takes a long time. <laughs> Wow, Cecilia really did strive to help out anyone she could, and I believe that she has impacted a lot of people in our district, and I hope that they never forget what she did for them. So congratulations to Cecilia for winning the Joycey Ogburn Memorial Award. You know adults aren't the only ones in this district that are, helping, that are thinking about others and are also taking the next step in innovation. innovation. But, to, but before we get to that, let's hear from our dear sponsors. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. We always try to work together, especially if it comes to big projects or things that could help our education system. They always make it a fun way because sometimes we play board games, but they're also mathematical. They have, you know, the opportunities to take so many different courses, and I didn't know that classes like, you know, advertising, graphic design, and marketing, and things like that existed because those weren't options where I was. They use technology in the classroom, and it prepares our students for a wonderful future. And I was able to work in the classrooms and it's what it's given me a first-hand experience at being a good educator myself. Springdale School is great. I love it. My teacher is awesome. My teachers encourage me to become the best person that I can be, not just academically, but in all aspects of my life. The education offered here, if you want to be challenged, they challenge you. I've been able to grow from that and just take on more. The Springdale Chamber of Commerce is among the top 1% of chambers in the nation to be honored with a five-star rating by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. We work each day to make our members more profitable through programming and events that strengthen our economy, help to create jobs for a growing population, and support the needs of a diverse community. We make Springdale a better place to live. 
Learn more about the Chamber and Springdale by visiting our website, springdale.com. Welcome back, and to answer your question, yes, you are correct. Our students here in the, in the Springdale School District are taking steps into including everyone in all activities, and the students at Tyson Elementary School did just that and more. Hi, I'm Dixie. Hi, I'm Rachel. Last spring, our school got the Captain Planet Foundation grant and we built a school garden. After we built our new school garden, we noticed the children who use wheelchairs were not able to participate in our school garden. It made us sad, so we learned to write a grant. We measured wheelchairs. We did research on elevated beds and girl bags to make sure our friends can use them. And we learned to comparison shop. We got the grant and we were so excited to help some of our tigers. We assembled the bag during our East class. Our friends will use these things when they work in the garden. We showed our friend the things we got for her. It made us all really happy. Thanks, girls. You're, You're welcome. welcome. This project was really special because we gave her the chance to work in the garden and plant stuff. I loved how happy she was to be a gardener. Helping a tiger made me so happy and getting to be a part of the garden work made her so happy. I loved to see her smile. It made my heart so happy. I was amazed that she had never worked in a garden, but now she can. This was a really special experience for all of us. We made a difference in someone's life. And we will never forget that. Those students really took another step into incorporating anyone, no matter their differences or disabilities. The things they achieve by working together for their classmates just warms your heart. The start of October, the Ozark Media Arts Festival was being held down in downtown Springdale. It's such an amazing event for both students and teachers. It provides a competitive learning experience for the students by putting them in a five-hour time limit competition that includes categories ranged from photography, graphic film, and graphic design and film. The festival included schools from different districts that range across Arkansas and some even from Oklahoma. It was really an amazing experience for the students to have a fun way to learn more about media arts. And today we bring to you the winning recap of this event. OMF is awesome. This is my first time ever competing in a five hour competition because um, last year it was virtual so you had days or a day to work on it. OMF is really cool. Um, it's a, it's a, I think of it as kind of like a pre-competition competition so it gets us prepared for the higher level competitions that are like state, national wide. Even if you don't win, you go to compete, you go to feel that competitive environment, get everything together, the five hours, and after the five hours you think, oh, well, I'm done, I, don't, I can't learn anything else. But that's the exact opposite. OMAP is a great way to kind of bump up your level of production. Elevating. OMAP, one step closer to the industry.
You can really see how important this event was for all the students that participated. So congratulations to all the winners of this event and good luck for what's to coming next year. But before we end this segment, let's hear from our sponsors one more time. Garrett on the counter, find a hole, Garrett inside the five, touch, down, spring down. Choose the wellness centers at Springdale Schools. The wellness centers in Springdale are perfect for students and teachers. Teachers can go during their planning period and parents don't have to miss work for students to receive medical care. Offering sports physicals, kindergarten physicals, vaccinations, well child checks, acute care, and more. Wellness centers are located at a school near you. Wellness Centers and Springdale Schools, we are your medical home. Welcome back, and here are some important dates that you might want to write down on your calendar. The annual Elk Drug Awareness Program has kicked off and is here to educate 4th through 8th graders about standing up to bullies. For more information, visit www.elks.org to find the contact information. Please call 773-755-4743. Are you a teacher or a staff member working in a local school? Centennial Bank is offering an Education Employees Affinity Program for any full-time public, sco public school staff or any federal accelerated private school's employees. Qualified borrowers can receive $1,025 in lender's credit applied towards orientation charges. For more information about this, please contact Carla Harris through her email charris at my100bank.com or her phone number 479-684-2251. Join Anita Ivan for the Springdale Public School YouTube channel as she interviews a few Islanders club students as they talk about the activities that they involved in, their future goals, and they also talk a few words to encourage other students. Every Springdale Public School student now has a free digital access to the Springdale Public Library. The new program, which rolled out in mid-September, enables every student from kindergarten through high school to access a digital content through the library. We hope that you take advantage of this amazing opportunity. Well, thank you for joining us on this edition of Spring Note Today. We look forward to seeing you guys for the next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Springdale has a lot of diversity in our city, and I think that makes it pretty special. We got Marshallese people, like there's barely any other like Marshallese in like other cities and states. You're able to come across people from all different types of backgrounds and we all are working towards the same goal, becoming better. I'm proud to be in Springdale because of the way that things are laid out for us, especially as a teacher. It's really great that we have a good curriculum and that we're all you know, held accountable for being the best teacher that we can be. We're kind of growing up together in the district. We may have two sides of a city only separated by a street, but everyone in the city works together. We're constantly working with each other to basically be the best district in the state. Springdale is awesome. We have so many different schools within the district, but we all are one Springdale. Someday I hope to be a fashion designer. Someday I hope to be a basketball player. Someday. Someday. Someday I hope to be a doctor for kids. I also have seven. Seven. I have seven. Seven. Seven school board members. I have seven school board members. Working. 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 Working to ensure my success. Thank you. We thank you. We thank you for believing in us. We thank you for, for believing, believing in us. us.